This is Nick with the Elite Reef, and today I'm going to show you how to properly feed a rose bubble tip anemone. So taking a look at my anemone, we can see that it's got great coloration, great tentacle extension. It's a very, very healthy specimen. This anemone has been in my system for over a year, and it's just been thriving. It hosts my pair of Percula clownfish, and it does really, really well in my tank. This is something you definitely want to take note of, and you want to ensure that you've got a healthy anemone that's been in your tank and is established. Anemones can take up to several months to establish a permanent home for themselves, attach their foot somewhere, so this is really, really important that you've got a healthy anemone. If you feed an anemone and it's not healthy, it can cause serious problems in the future. It's also pretty easy to tell if your anemone is happy and healthy versus unhealthy and unhappy. As long as your anemone is open, it's in the same location, it hasn't moved in several weeks, you know it's in a good spot and you know that it likes where, it, where it's at and it's going to be okay to feed. So now what I do is I take one-fourth of a piece of shrimp and I put it in a Dixie cup. Please keep in mind that the shrimp must be frozen and raw, not cooked or cocktail shrimp or anything like that. It must be raw. I then pour a little bit of water, R-O-D-I of course, into the cup and let the shrimp thaw out for a few minutes. So after I've let the shrimp sit in that Dixie cup and thaw out in the RODI water for about 5 to 10 minutes, it's ready to be placed in the anemone. Very simple, just place it in the tentacles, the anemone will grab it and it will slowly bring it down to its mouth. So as you can see, in just under a minute, the anemone has engulfed the shrimp, brought it down to its mouth, and eaten it, and it's back to normal. Sometimes after feeding, the anemone can recede a little bit. That's totally okay, totally normal, nothing to worry about. I've been feeding mine consistently for the past month or so, so it's done really well and doesn't recede like it used to. Here's a quick top-down shot of the anemone about an hour after feeding it that shrimp. As you can see in the middle there is its mouth. The anemone is still fully open, doing really, really well. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more of these videos. Thanks again, and enjoy your reefs.